Hello again, Ian Stick with Mastermind Game, and Happy April Fool's Day. So, a lot of people like to do jokes, pranks. I like to paint something silly. Last year, I painted a Space Marine hero I bought for just testing random paint schemes based with a scheme based off of Fred Flintstone. Nobody got the joke or understood it was April Fool's. So hopefully this year, things go a little better. The concept this year is a Space Marine based off the humble cockroach. Shield Brown, 09161. So the Brothers of the Roach are simply a <laughs> custom chapter. I crudely conceived specifically for this video, who idolized the common cockroach, one of the few species proven to have survived. They appear in the Ravener omnibus, which I am currently working through. But uh, Space Marines impressed by their tenacity and specialize in rooting out heretics cultists particularly, in the slog heaps they dwell in. Sewers, abandoned suckers, <laughs> a lot of sewers. So I picture this as a brotherhood of space marines spending a lot of time in uh, slugging around bathrooms, checking in the grossest, nastiest, grungiest places of all. And I'm going for a color scheme as close to public restroom as I can manage. Giving a nice solid coat here. And well, the rest of the Space Marines Heroes models I have are, can be actually used for actual iconic official color schemes with salamanders and imperial fists being uh, among them. But with that in mind, uh, they're not really available in my area anymore, so I don't know what I'll do next year, but I'll figure something out. So I just got a nice coat of nasty looking brown on here. That's pretty good. I'll do part of the bolter as well. You sometimes see on older Space Marine models those shiny red bolters, or sometimes green. Uh, Inquisitor Eisenhorn was given a bolt pistol by a Space Marine that he worked with once as a token of esteem. But again, <laughs> a color scheme to match the septic systems they search for rooting out heresy in literally the most vile places imaginable. <laughs> okay, let that dry and move on in a minute. All right, next, Stormy Gray, 09088. do this on the spare magazine in his hand. And parts of the bolt gun. Don't have the best lighting on that angle. Grenades. 
and the body glove underneath where it's visible. Not a whole lot of it on this one. Okay. And the handle for the bolt pistol. Yellow bone zero nine one four three. Not much. So we're gonna go on the parchment for the purity seal. And then pine green, I think. Up, so paper clip to clear. Again, going for uh, just about the grossest color scheme I can imagine. Yeah, when I uh, conceived this for my April Fools video. I pictured two cultists, chaos cultists, conversing in a public restroom. And one of these SOPs crawling up through the sewer pipes, sticking his bolter right up one of their butts while the, while the cultist was still sitting on the toilet and pulling the trigger. And while this normally I would do as a gravel, we're going to do something. We're going to do it as slime. Oh, I forgot to get the magazine on the ground here, so we'll just grab that storming grain and do that real quick. Do the base here as sort of his natural habitat. Yes, a roach marine in its natural habitat, the sewage treatment plant. Before I move on, all right. I think now, little sun yellow zero nine zero zero eight. and holsters and a few other little things, I think. Well, 
I think next April Fool's Day, if I don't have, uh, can't find any more Space Marine heroes to do silly color schemes with, I will, uh, maybe make a terrain piece on camera, we'll see. We'll just see what happens, or when it happens, it's gonna be a whole year away. Yeah, I think that's good for that. Old bronze zero nine one nine seven. Just a little bit on the bolt shell in the fresh magazine and this. Marksman's Honor, which I caught somewhere, I don't know where it's allegedly made of, from a uh, bolter shell casing used by the Emperor himself, but <laughs> we would think how could a, how could one man possibly shoot probably billions of rounds, but when you think about it, if the Emperor is immortal, and the Great Crusade lasts thousands of years, uniform gray, then it's conceivable, it's easily conceivable if he's, you know, going full auto with a bolt weapon of some type. Being real careful around the magazine I painted earlier, trying to avoid the slime as well. Decent coverage. And a little chaotic red. Emphasis on a little. seal right there. And I'll let that dry and then I can start shading. Oh man, I'm dropping frames like madness again. Oh boy. Here goes the technical difficulties strike again. Okay, time to shade. So I'm gonna start with pale olive 09036. one part water to one part paint. I'm going to put this over the sun yellow. Zero nine zero zero one. Which is not thoroughly mixed. Let's try that again. Better. I keep I readjusted my lamp, one of my lamps. I keep hitting it. And muddy olive, I think, 09034. Yeah, 
that should come out nice and gross. Just the color for a chapter that spends most of their time slugging around sewers. If most chapters could be equated to the sword of the Emperor, then the Brothers of the Roach would be the Drain Snake. and take HP where 09196. I call this a calculated risk because if you get adjacent colors while shading, the paints will blend in. Sometimes you want that, sometimes you don't. Just nick the bolt. Some rocksmith thing. And I'm going to let that dry. Okay. Next, I'm going to take matte black, I think. For particularly dark colors like this, you'll need to use two to three parts water to one part paint. Otherwise, it'll just completely overtake your base coat. And real carefully avoiding the bolt in the chamber there. Get that. Frag grenade, the body glove, that grenade. I'm assuming is a crack grade. Got a little extra in the uh, blank chamber there. Then the pistol. forgot this magazine. And then I'm going to take a little stormy gray 09088. a full coverage like I normally do because I'm going to do other colors and when I get to the brown I'm going to let that flow onto the base as well. I think a little olive green 09035. for a gross and nasty. I'll get that into the crevasse here and I will let that blend in around any other colors I've got, at least right now. This will do some interesting things with the slime. One more I was going to do, Stained Ivory, 09142, and shade the Purity Seal parchment. That base definitely looks like something you wouldn't want to uh, smell or step in. Give that a 
chance to dry and move on. Oh boy. I'm really having focus issues on this one. Hey. Well, it was playing nice a minute ago and now it's not. Okay. Woodstain Brown, 09160. Yeah, this focus thing is driving me nuts. I'll get it figured out eventually to where I consistently don't need to worry about it, but until then, it's going to be really frustrating. Upgrading my camera has definitely helped, but that said, it's still a problem. Not just that it happens, but that it's, it's a inconsistent in when it happens. <laughs> figure out what to do when I can't find the pattern. Just going off the brown with this. Thin it out a little more and just put a bit on the knee. Just a bit on the base in here sporadically. Now it's still wet, I'm going to take some sun yellow 09008 again and just a bit. We'll see if I pull this off a little wet on wet. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. We'll find out. And some more on the bit on the arm. Bit on the leg. And then on the base. Just for giggles, I'll take a little uh, not really green. I'll use pale green zero nine zero one two. And do a little ambiguous goo as well. After all these Marines go slogging through septic systems for laughs. So, there are more mermaids. Start one color, but that doesn't mean it's going to end that color. Kind of like how the world leaders 
technically started out in white armor and would end up covered in gore when they came home. I'm gonna go two nuts with the green so that looks okay. Before I know it, I've got 60 frames. Oh boy. Alright. Perhaps some lighting effects with matte white. This is just going to go in the eyes. Tiny dot's going to be more than enough. Yeah, just the eyes. dry completely, then I can add to the light effects. All right, some details here. I'm going to take, uh, well, actually the lighting. So I'll use Marigold Yellow 09007. Just a dot of it. Two to three parts water to one part paint for a lighting effect. that in the eyes, which got way out of control on this side of the face, so dab some of that out with a paper towel. It's not bad. Alright, once that dries completely, I can highlight, detail, and wrap up this April Fool's joke. Oh, and by the way, that loud beeping, that was just a timer I used to, uh, I'm doing my laundry. Nothing to be concerned about. Okay, it's time to highlight now. Let's start with uniform gray. Something along the lines of this. Straight paint, no water. Rub out on the paper towel to look like there's nothing left. What does the area to be affected? Zero nine one six two. Lightly dusting, going against any raised areas. Don't want to completely obscure the all over the armor. needed. Okay. One in yellow, zero nine zero zero nine. Not 
much of this. Not much of this, just enough to... Just a little dot taking care of the pouches in the, uh, well, pouch and the holster. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Holsters and pouches for, and gear pouches that are watertight and likely urine soaked. And next, I'm going to use, I think. All of green, 09035. So I'm having that terrible focus issue. I tell you, I am really trying hard, but my equipment is just not playing nice with me today. Again, I'm not deliberately not covering up the uh, all of the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Still caked on the armor. So it's going to be showing through this color and everything. Uh, next, Cranny Ivory 0914. Tiny dot, that's all I need. So make them a partial there, vampire red. Brass is zero nine one nine eight. Okay, I don't need much of this either. No, I just hit the wrong one. Try again. I forgot a bit of the London yellow on the uh, bolt gun as well. Good grief, this is not my day here. Next, Stormy, or no, Misty Gray 09090. is suitable for highlighting, so I'm swapping freely, but this does need to be completely dry. Mostly around the edges of the rock crate, as I'm assuming that's what this was intended to be at one point in time. And leaf green 09011. Oh, and I'm dropping 100 frames a second. Alright, are we cool here? It's playing nice. Part of my problem with this is the only way I can have my rig camera rig configured is if the screen is behind me. Rotable in front, screen behind. There's just kind of stuck with it. And we're going to dust this leaf green over the assorted filth. 
make sure it gets up into the ooze around the magazine. A little bit on the a little bit on the edges here. Make it looks like this gunk is trying to get up there. Now matte black. Jeez, oh, it's still doing nasty things to me. First, I'm going to take a detailed brush. Just, just enough water it's in the paint. Just do a few little scratches to make it look like there's writing on this seal. Fill in the barrel of the bolt gun. I'm going to switch to a flat head. Just go around the edge of the base here and clean it up. before I do a little uh, iconography. So back in a minute and hopefully my equipment will decide to play nice with me. Okay, let's see if a little more lighting, having it a little closer helps to focus any. Taking a little more matte black as I forgot to do one detail on the bolt gun. And that is just this little just the spot where the magazine plugs in. Now, taking that light, again, I should say, going to, and using just enough water to thin the I'm just going to do a little arrow to note to him as a member of a battle line squad. I'll give that a minute to start drying while I take Vampire Red and go on the other pauldron. So probably look a bit dark and gritty, that's all right. Rough diamond shape. Shield brown. Let's see if I can get that to focus on the. Uh, there we go. Just 
just a bit. I'm going to take one of my dry brushes. This one. No, I had it right the first time. I'm not completely doing a dry brush thing, but I'm just going to try to streak it out. Dirty it up a bit. Make it look like he's been slugging through something. And it's not bad, yeah, there we go. Hey, how cool is Hey, Brotherhood of the Remote Space Marine. And my hand up the camp says I'm still working up. Come on, Brotherhood of the Remote Space Marine. Why? Because, uh, nothing says. Nothing says surprise like a bolt pist like oh boy I'm blowing it. Nothing says surprise like a bolt gun up your bunghole. <laughs> Happy April Fool's Day. We'll get more serious again later. Till next time. I am I did great. I am Ian Stuckey with Mastermind Games signing out. Good great. <laughs>